The Batman Arkham series revolutionized the AAA industry of comic book-based games. Many got to know Batman through these games. This version of The Dark Knight, which debuted back in 2009, continues to captivate superhero fans. Despite excellent boss fights, great stories, and deep immersion offered by the series, there have been moments that fell short, as many game fans would agree. And that's the topic for today. Seven moments where Batman Arkham fell short. Stay until the end of the video to see if you agree with the list. I'm sure there are points you'll agree with me on. 1. Batman Arkham Asylum, the final boss. Batman Arkham Asylum is an excellent game. The idea of exploring Batman's universe facing his rogues gallery within the asylum throughout the game was brilliant. While playing, you build up expectations for the game's ending, but despite a grand story, the ending fell short. It was the moment the story took a downturn. The most significant battles between Batman and the Joker in comics, movies, and animations have always been due to the intellect of these two characters. The Joker devises ingenious plans to defeat Batman, who must be cautious, and use his mind to understand the villain's objectives before engaging in action scenes. However, in the end of Asylum, the Joker simply injects himself with the Titan formula, turning into a giant monster, reducing the battle to brute force. In most of these games' villains, strategic thinking is essential to overcome them. Additionally, apart from Bane, you face several other random henchmen who also injected the Titan formula. Ending the game in a similar way with the Joker turns out to be somewhat disappointing. While not necessarily bad, compared to the overall story, the conclusion of Batman Arkham Asylum feels weak. 2. Batman Arkham Origins Slade Batman Arkham Origins features memorable boss battles and a great storyline. I recently made a video discussing how a remaster or a remake of this game would be fantastic. Click on the card button on the top right to watch. Before the game's release, there were cinematic trailers of Batman vs. Slade, and their battle on the Penguin ship is excellent, action-packed, and frenetic. So much so that you might miss details if not attentive, leading some to believe that Slade Wilson is a Batman villain, while he is more associated with Nightwing and the Teen Titans. At the time, due to the announced trailer, Many believed Slade would be one of the game's major antagonists, but that wasn't the case. The mercenary appears when Batman interrogates Penguin on his ship, and after being defeated, there are no further battles between them throughout the game or other games, which turns out to be disappointing. It was a great battle that left many wanting more encounters between these two characters. 3. Batman Arkham Knight Slade Continuing with Slade, this may be one of the biggest missed opportunities for what could have been a grand martial arts battle in Arkham Knight. In Arkham Origins, Batman vs. Slade fight was sensational. Although Slade did not return for a rematch in Knight, possibly due to a lack of storyline space. In Arkham Knight, missions involving him lead to one of the most disappointing moments in this game, a tank battle for the supposed rematch. What was expected to be an excellent battle turned out to be just another tank battle similar to many others in the game, but with a different villain. This missed chance is hard to defend. 4. Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile Once again in Arkham Knight, the game successfully makes you feel like Batman while playing, with fantastic graphics even to this day. However, despite being a wonderful game, some elements fell short, particularly the Batmobile. Having the Batmobile to navigate through Gotham was indeed incredible and made a significant difference compared to previous games. Playing with the Batmobile was enjoyable, but the excessive tank battles made the experience tiresome. 5. Batman Arkham Knight Repeated Missions In Batman Arkham City, considered by many, including myself, as the perfect Batman game, there are several main and side missions without repetitions. However, in Arkham Knight, this is not the case. Despite the game's greatness, it includes many repetitive side missions, such as the tank battles I mentioned earlier, along with the militia spread across the city that you need to combat. Initially enjoyable, these missions become tiring due to the repetitive nature, causing many not to complete them. The game is excellent, but this aspect is a low point. 
6. Batman Arkham Knight Jason Todd With how frequently it appears on this list, it might seem like I don't like this game, but on the contrary, I love it. However, as incredible as it is, the story falls short compared to previous games. Throughout the game, we are introduced to a new villain working with Scarecrow to take control of Gotham and defeat Batman. This villain is the Arkham Knight. It's evident that the Arkham Knight is Jason Todd, the former Robin and current Red Hood, particularly if you're a Batman fan. Despite the game dropping clues since the villain's appearance, there remains a mystery around his identity. In the game's comics, like Arkham Knight Genesis, the character is explored more profoundly, bringing depth to his origins, providing insights into why the game's Batman prefers to work alone despite having partners. In Detective Comics, Arkham Knight makes an appearance, and I prefer this version from the comics over the game version. In the comics, Astrid Arkham, known as the Arkham Knight, has a captivating story that delves deep into her character. This is an intriguing storyline, but for another video. 7. Batman Arkham Two-Face Two-Face is one of Batman's greatest villains, ranking alongside the Joker, Riddler, Scarecrow, and others. He has an intriguing appearance in Arkham City, at the courthouse, and later becomes a bank robber in Arkham Knight. Unfortunately, this was a significant missed opportunity in the games, as Batman vs. Two-Face battles are usually intellectual, much like the Joker's encounters. Two-Face has compelling storylines in the comics and was well adapted in the Dark Knight movie, but in the games he only had these two appearances, which was a wasted potential. He would have had excellent intellectual battles with Batman, where Batman would need to delve deep into Harvey's psyche to deduce his actions. Now, I want to hear your opinion. Do you agree with the points raised in this video? Are there other moments in the Batman Arkham games that you dislike? Write your thoughts in the comments, I'm curious to know. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on everything happening in the DC and Marvel Universe. Thank you for watching until the end. See you next time.